Hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Spirit once again. Welcome to the Threads and Vibes HQ. Today we have a special guest all the way from North Plainfield, New Jersey. Give it up for T. Cozy. T. Cozy! Hello, Threads and What's Vibes. Up? What's, What's up, up, my up? man? How's everybody chilling, doing chilling, today? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Oh, man. Dude. What you got? What you got? Let's see your thread check. Let's check it out. We got the pants starting down. Okay, got okay. Got the hand painted shoes on me. Okay. Each I'll patch like is that. hand sewn by me. Everything you see is done by me. Mm. Got the hand painted jacket on the back. Sure. Oof. And we got the bag and the shirt Damn. to match. Money, man. Don't forget the bag. Oh, man, bro. You got some threads for us? Hey, I wouldn't have come to Threads and Vibes if I didn't, so. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Let's. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Let's do this. <sighs> Who am I? Um, I'm a kid from Cuba who just loves cartoons. And what do I do? I try to bring my cartoons to life. And I try to connect with people and their childhood cartoon experiences and try to exasperate that into the future, realistically. Well, you started first. Okay, like... yeah. I started music first. I started okay. practicing freestyling. Uh, I started rapping when I was 18. I started practicing freestyle and watching other people's freestyles, you know, trying to get a feel of what rap music was because I was I was a pop head when I was, you know, uh, younger. I listened to rock music and um, wasn't really big on rap, but once I started this whole journey, it kind of all just got together. I didn't start sewing until like three years ago, so. Where did your inspiration come from? <clears throat> um, I'm gonna be really honest. When I was like 13, 14, my older brother, he would always draw Dragon Ball Z characters, Spider-Man, like how you would see like in the Marvel movies, like from all the lines and then erasing them and then drawing it again. Like it was such a process, I guess that really inspired me as a kid to not really do clothes, but I always wanted to draw like my older brother. And um, just piece by piece, I fell in love with cartoons through that, you know, because when I was seven, I really wasn't connected to myself like that, didn't really watch cartoons, kind of started reading books, and then eventually when I was 22, 23, I wanted to get my childhood back. So I started designing clothes for people who wanted to as well, you know? How did you come up with your name? Oh, that's easy. Me and my brother, we were been working together since, um, since we moved out in like 2018. So we were working one day, he, he taught me how to sew, my little brother. We was both learning together. He was sewing hats, he was sewing t-shirts, and then eventually, no, he was sewing hats, and then I started sewing t-shirts, and then I started sewing a whole bunch of other stuff that you wouldn't even know today. So, he, we were just w working one day, and um, we met up with a friend, friend left, and we were just sitting there buzzing one day, and literally, my brother just yells out the name, and he's just like, T. Cozy, and I'm just like, I've been doing, like, I have been writing Cozy all over the place, and like, kind of my style just explains what we are, but, like, when he said the name, I was just like, wow, this is, um, this is something that monumentalizes and like the more people say it, the more people like call me out like, hey, T Cozy, I'm just like, it just becomes something else that I, I didn't have control over, you know? So the way that came about was my little brother. What does your brand name means to you? And what does it mean to others? That's, that's a good question. I think what my brand name means to me, excuse me, what my brand name means to others is, is definitely some place that they can find a real human being. One thing I pride myself on is genuine connections. Like you will see, I have on my Instagrams about 500 followers on my T Cozy page. I know most of those people, and I mean about 450 of them. I can say that 10 I don't know because my brother, he gets followers for the page. Other people will put us on other people, you know what I'm saying? I try to follow back each person that I've met single-handedly, you know? I think that connection is one of the biggest things on earth that we neglect a lot because we're moving fast, COVID, whatever, life, you know, everything's moving really fast. During 2020, I really 
prided myself on connections again because coming out of COVID, it was just like, all I wanted to do was talk to somebody. All I wanted to do was connect with somebody. What do people do the most where they don't connect? Cartoons. Not everybody's out here walking around saying they're super proud to live a cartoon lifestyle, but when they close those doors, they're animating it up. They're cartooning it up. They're letting their hair down. I think of Tea Cozy as a place where people could let their hair down. They could be themselves and they could not only express themselves, but just be vulnerable, you know? And if we could be just a little bit more vulnerable in the world, I think that we could all be a little bit more positive. And we know what positivity does. It kind of, sh it's a road to success. It's a road to happiness, genuine peace, you know? But what Tea Cozy means to me is, um, I don't know, it's, it's me, it's me trying to find what my parents didn't in life. My parents are really introverted, so me stepping out as he goes, he letting people come to my house and get their clothes and whatnot. It's, um, it's something you have to break out of really. Like not everybody's going to allow people to come to their mom's house. You know what I'm saying? Like trust stuff like that. But I know if they're coming to T cozy, they're coming to shop. They're not coming to harm or anything like that. They're coming to be themselves. And that's something that's really important to me. Like the real person, like I'll ask a person 12 times, how are you? until they start breaking down like, yeah, I'm not that great. And I'm just like, okay, that's okay. Tell me what's up. I do that with all my customers, to be honest. Like I have a conversation. Sometimes if I got enough time, we'll smoke a blunt or whatever, you know, because I'm not out here trying to make friends, but I'm definitely trying to see people in a different light that they've never seen themselves in. What was your first piece ever made and sold? Okay, so my first piece ever made and sold was a jean jacket. It was sold to a girl that I was working with at Capital Craft, a restaurant that I used to serve. And she was a bartender and to help get myself off the ground, I was already designing me and my brother's clothes and my family's clothes. So it was like, all right, I gotta get somebody else to wear my clothes. Like, let's see if I can really do this. Let's see if I can really, really be a clothes designer. You know, I, she gave me her jacket, I painted it. Like, that's when I had like these little bottles of paint. So I was using like 20 bottles of paint for one jacket. No sense of recycling back then, but I'm good now. And um, just painted it, painted like the sun, the moon, a few things that I felt resonated with her. And um, I gave it to her, she absolutely loved it. She was surprised when I did it. I am I still look at the jacket like, <laughs> but now that, you know, people adore authenticity. People adore the start of something. And she gave me my start, so shout out to you, Jessica. I know you'll be watching this video, so. Um, I appreciate her because that led me to my first actual sale. You know, a girl, another girl that worked there, she was a host at the time, and it was a black jean jacket, and um, I did a big sun with a whole bunch of multicolored dots, you know, any color I could find, really, and just trying to just trying to feel what resonated with her. She absolutely loved it. She ended up getting some sneakers, a bag, and a whole bunch of other stuff after that, so that that's the moment I knew. I was just like, okay, I, I'm tea cozy now, you know, so. 2019. Who do you see yourself collaborating with in the fashion industry? That's a great question because personally, as a as a clothes designer, as a fashion designer, like I do not keep up with anybody. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest. I think the only person I would want to work with is Pharrell um, because of his color. He stands out to me, and um, he reminds me of, like a modern day Basquiat if he dressed, you know. And just some of the jewelry pieces I've seen that guy wear is just like wow. He's gonna fit well and cozy, don't worry. But, um, you know, I before the passing of Virgil Blah, God rest his soul, I definitely wanted to aspire to work with him. Um, before all this madness with Kanye, I aspired to work with him. But, you know, there's there's certain, there's certain people I definitely want to work with, like, that I hope the vision helps me broaden mine as well. But, um, Artists like Travis Scott, it's, it's really artist-based because artists are the ones who are in the fashion industry nowadays. And it's, um, I mean, I'm an artist, so it, it helps to hopefully just connect with people that, that, um, that see everything that I see as kind of something that connects us, you know, and nothing that separates us because there's a lot of ego in the, the fashion industry, music industry, and... I guess that's why I do cartoons, because there's no ego in cartoons, <laughs> and if there is, it's just funny, you know? But, yeah, Pharrell, Travis Scott, and um, we'll see about the next ones. 
What artists are you looking forward to styling with your threads? That's a great question. Um, I'm gonna make it super easy. The artists that nobody knows. The the me's, the you's, the 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 people that I've met, the people that have actually because how I came to New Brunswick is very, it's a very coy story. Uh, one of my customers, one of my T Cozy customers, he was going to these events and these shows, and he kept coming back telling me, "Yo, bro, I'm getting mad compliments. I'm getting mad love on my sweater." I'm like, "The one that I did," and he's just like, "Yo, they know T Cozy." And I was just like, "What do you mean they know T Cozy? I'm, I'm here. I, they're over there." And then I had another customer who met that customer through the studio. He was like, "Yo, bro, that sweater's dope. I need one of my own." I met that guy. He bought a sweater. And then he told me about Billion Bars Club. Shout out Billion Bars Club. Shout out El Bezel. And um, that's the first moment I came to New Brunswick, you know, August 26th, the day after my birthday. I turned 25 and I went crazy. You know, I had a lot of, had a lot of fun. It was my first time performing since I was 18. And um, it was just like, it was such a beautiful thing to have my own people, people that live down the street with me, around the corner, rappers that nobody knows their names yet, but they will. And they helped me get my name out there just by performing in the clothing, you know? So I think something that's really important to me and always has been, like ever since I started being a clothes designer, I like like FUBU or um, Sean John, like making music, making clothes for rappers, making clothes for us, our, our people, because we always want to go for the higher ups because we think that the connection will do something better for us. but. Just like when you don't forget your family on their birthday, that love is always with them. And I want people that are gonna not love me forever, but at least love what I do forever. So, you know, the people that, the artists that nobody knows, the upcoming artists, the artists that we wanna know, the artists that we go to their shows every Friday and Saturday night or every month, and we wanna see them in a different spot. I wanna see those artists wear my clothes because those artists are the future. Those artists are the ones that make a difference now. And the rest of those guys are soon gonna retire, so. But new drops. Like What's the next? Like what are you gonna drop or yeah. what have you dropped? Or okay, like, well, yeah. music wise, I just dropped a single uh, called Move. It's on all platforms. Um, dope song, I've got no negative reactions from it. And that's, I'm not gonna say that's the first, but it's the first time I paid attention to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a better job at promoting myself. Um, trying to just get better at that. Like we all have a chance to do something great and I'm not gonna procrastinate and ruin my chance. You know what I'm saying? Like half the time I don't even sleep because I just wanna finish a canvas or I wanna get that idea out. Um, what's next for me? I've been working on my website for T Cozy. So anybody that's actually looking to purchase T Cozy that isn't looking for a genuine connection that just wants to order online, that's gonna be for you. It's gonna be everywhere and it's gonna be available under tcozy.com very soon before the spring. So I literally worked on that all month of February by myself. I uploaded all the items to call pictures, put all the categories, put all the prices because I had a guy that was working on it, but you know how things work. So I did that in a month and by the springtime, I want to have that available. Um, what I do have coming up as soon as the springtime comes back available, I run a pop-up shop photo shoot every month. I try to do it every month. I have people that have already purchased Tea Cozy that come back in their Tea Cozy they come back looking great. We all take group pictures, they take individual pictures. I have them model new Tea Cozy that's coming out. <clears throat> and I also get a chance to see how the Tea Cozy's been taken care of throughout the time that I've seen them. And um, it gives everybody a chance to connect to other customers, other family members, they follow each other, you know what I'm saying? If they're artists, then we do the artist thing, we play their songs, you know what I'm saying? We try to get really involved with people. It's a very small thing right now because it's just me running these pop-up shop photo shoots. But when I get more people involved, I get more people that want to wear a tea cozy, want to just rock with the industry that we're trying to build and create, then it's going to be dope. And it's going to be something worth worth being a part of, you know what I'm saying? Every Saturday during the spring and the summer, I run my own pop-up shop. I literally take all my items out on my mother's front porch and I sit there for hours. And you know, that was something that came about from a DJ friend of mine. He was just like, yo, do pop-up shops, do photo shoots, do this and that. And I was just like, pop-up shops, what's that? And I was just, I literally, the first day I sat out there, I had customers and it was raining. It was raining like crazy, bro. And like, I had all my stuff on my mom's front porch. I was like, yo, is anybody gonna see? Like, I live on a one-way street. So like, it, you would look at me like I was crazy for even thinking about that, but you wouldn't know from all the customers that I've got from a pop-up shop 
Saturday that you gotta have hope and faith sometimes, no matter what you're doing. You gotta have hope and faith, and I think this is me just having hope and faith, you know. Uh, where can we find the new drops? Thank you. I was going off road there. Um, pin the top of my Instagram page. That's where you can find each new drop. My most recent collection drop was dropped last Wednesday, and that's over a hundred of our best T cozy items. That's all of our T cozy items. We have like 113 items in stock right now. So like 30 to 40 pieces of art, 20 20 shirts, and like 10 or 11 sweatshirts and hoodies, a pair of sneakers. But over the past six months, I've been really art-based, so you will find a bunch of art. So I'm working on my pants and clothing right now. I'm a one-man working show, so whenever you see something coming out new, it's because I'm working patiently on it and just trying to get it out as efficiently as possible. T Cozy, I see you got the threads. There. But we got the models. Really? Are you ready to style the UFO models? Let's do it. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. OG. Yeah. Uh. It's not a surprise to me no more. I know that I'm fire. Yeah, that's me. And move my face so there's no mask hidden in a riot. I'm not really worried about getting checks, I'm feeling retired Doing what I do, you wake up excited I wake up every day and start a riot I was just chilling, trying to fix my diet But all you guys talk about is dying I don't run ways, I'm the one that's supplying them It's not a game to me, yeah, I'm on it You niggas talk about me more than I do I let you chat while you think it we viable I we was friends, I handled the Bible It was a brother, they able not fight us So why would you fight with your brother's eye And too many out here wanna see us die And maybe later shit will have us some fun Don't you see you winning, how can I help? Taking pride from the quiz and I'm stuck. Taking pride from the quiz and I'm stuck. I make a movie, we gon' feel it. If we do it, we gon' kill it. We don't need murders in cities. I make a dent with me. Diddy bopping through the city. I'm from Cuba, see my city. It's kinda like you all pretty. It's kinda like you all pretty. Oh my God. Try to paint it so you get the picture. I know you hate me, don't kill a nigga. Jealousy a really strong feeling. I speak real, so it's hard, niggas. I done seen the hard on soft, niggas. I done seen the fresh on off, niggas. I done seen a lot of gone, niggas. Let the pad take them off, nigga. Never looking back, it's all good. I know what to do, it's all good. Came back looking like a fool. But I showed out, never hold out. You can't hold me down. Cause I'm blowing up in the spot now. Niggas rocking out the whole town. Yep, do it smooth if we do wild. Make up, yeah, we gon' feel it. If we do it, we gon' kill it. We don't mean murders in cities. I mean a dick to him with me. Did he pop it through the city? I'm from Cuba, see my city. It's kinda like you all pretty. It's kinda like you all pretty. I make a fool, we gon' feel it. If you do it, we gon' kill it. We don't mean murders in cities. I make a dick to him with me. Did he pop it through the city? I'm from Cuba, see my city. It's kinda like you all pretty. Kinda like you all pretty. Go. I try to ball like I'm rich. Switching my name, Richie Rich. Nigga always got a pitch. There's no back and forth with the riches. He's letting nigga take his steps. Cause you know I'm not trying to get richer. You little niggas is greedy, no fishing. Put your hand down, you gotta be kidding. Put your mask on, no nigga, that's sickness. Is your body not lying with your mind? Then I guess you just wasting your time. Trying to crystal flow every rhyme. I've seen guys that's out, not me. With a T color, T cozy. Looking fresh, couple dollars on the scene. I got flows, got cheese, got cream. Fucking with the OG, my beam, yeah. Got the summertime, hot beat. Leave it when I want, when I really do need it. OG too fresh for the season. Can't dream me, baby, don't need you. Not just where it's said, I see it. Not just where it's said, I see it. Gotta do what I really be. I make a move, we gon' feel it. If we do it, we gon' kill it. We don't need murders in cities. I mean, a dance with me. Did he bop it through the city? I'm from Cuba, see my city. It's kinda like you all pretty. It's kinda like you all pretty. I make a move, we gon' feel it. If we do it, we gon' kill it. We don't need murders in cities. No. I mean, a dance City. I'm from Cuba, see my city. Yeah. Kinda like y'all yeah. pretty, pretty. Kinda like y'all pretty.